You probably have noticed that AI agents are everywhere. There are dedicated frameworks like Crew AI and Autogen that will help you orchestrate AI agents. However, in most of the cases to build LLM based agent applications, you don't need these frameworks. In this video, I'll show you how you can use a cloud to build your own AI framework. And we're going to use its advanced reasoning as well as vision analysis to create a financial analyst. So we will explore how we can use a bigger model like Opus as a super agent, which will provide subtasks to sub agents to smaller models like Haiku. That way we will be able to save money by outsourcing most of the smaller tasks to these uh, relatively uh, weaker models. The example I'm about to show you is based on the amazing cookbook from Anthropic, which I highly recommend you to check it out. Okay, so let's try to understand what we are trying to achieve here. So we are trying to create a financial analyst. And in this case, we are going to provide Apple's 2023 financial earning reports for each quarter. And then we're going to use uh, the Cloud3 Haiku based sub agents, which will analyze financial report from each quarter and the results are going to be sent to a bigger uh, opus model the opus model will generate the final report based on the user query now first we need to install all the required packages so in this case i'm installing uh, the entropic uh, python client then a library uh, to read pdf files and then we're going to be using matplotlib to generate plots uh, which will help us explain the results to the user Next, we are importing all the required packages. You will also need to set your Anthropic API key. In this case, it's part of my uh, Google Colab Notebook secrets. I'm just activating this and using it directly from my notebook. Next, we need to define our subagents. So in this case, I'm using the Anthropic client and my subagents are based on uh, the Cloud3 Haiku, which are the smallest model. Now this is uh, pretty helpful because the subtasks are going to be relatively simpler. So that's why we're going to assign those subtasks to uh, Cloud3 Haiku. And it will become clearer as we uh, go through the notebook. Now to create our financial analyst, we need data. So for this, we are downloading the financial earnings for different quarters. So this is Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Let me show you how they look like. So basically, they are uh, tables, uh, which has all the financial earning information for all three quarters. Now, it's really hard to actually parse tables from uh, PDF files, but fortunately for us, Haiku has vision capabilities, and those capabilities are going to be extremely helpful when we are parsing these documents. Okay, next we're going to uh, write a couple of functions to help us download the files. So this function will receive a URL a folder path where we want to store the files and it will download the uh, PDF files from the URL. Now, since we want to use the vision capabilities of Haiku, we are going to write another function called PDF to base 64 PNG. So this will basically take the PDF file extract each page individually, convert that page into an image, and will send us back a list of images rather than the original text. Okay, next we need to provide a path of the folder we want to download our files. So if you're using a Google Colab notebook, just make sure you create this structure. There is an image folder and within that there is using uh, sub agents and the way you create a new folder is just right click and click on new folder and provide a name to that folder okay so the original code was actually using uh, <clears throat> multi-threading uh, to download pdf files concurrently but i was running into some issues so i simply wrote this code which will download each file individually and then we also want to check if there are any issues with uh, the files that are being downloaded so you just ignore the files with issues and here, uh, when I printed it, so I got all my four statements uh, successfully downloaded. Let's say we have a user question. 
which is how did Apple's net sales change quarter to quarter in 2023 financial year and what were the key contributors to the changes. So basically we want to make sure to keep track of what changed from one quarter to another quarter and uh, for each quarter what were the uh, key contributors. right? So now we can use sub agents which can extract this information uh, from each quarter and then we can use a super agent based on uh, opus which will combine all these insights together and give us our final response so in this case we first need to provide a prompt to each of our sub agents and for that we are going to use our uh, bigger model which is opus to create a prompt for these sub agents so the function is generate haiku prompt which will receive the uh, original uh, question from the user and then it gets this prompt. So this is basically controlling the uh, super agent behavior. The prompt is based on the following question, please generate a specific prompt for an LLM sub agent to extract relevant information from earning reports PDF files. Now each sub agent only has access to a single quarterly earning, right? and output only the prompt and nothing else. We just wanted to generate uh, a prompt for us that we can feed into these smaller sub-agents. So here we're using uh, Cloud 3 Opus. Okay, so once we run this with our initial question from the user, here is the prompt that it generated that we will need to run through each of the sub-agents. And the prompt is extract the following information from Apple's earning report for the quarter you have access to. So as I said, each agent is going to have access to only one quarterly report. And we want this information from each one of them. Okay, but how do we run this, right? So for that, we are going to use this function extract information, which will uh, receive a single file as an input. Then we use the PDF to base 64 PNG converter to convert it into a list of images and then we use the smaller model, uh, which are going to be a haiku as a sub agent. But here we provide the uh, input image as a source, right? And then we also provide the prompt that Opus generated for this sub agent, right? So again, we have the bigger model, which we use to uh, generate a prompt for these sub agents and each sub agent is just extracting information from a single document okay so basically this will help us extract the information from one earning report and then we'll have to run this four different times so that uh, we use these sub agents to get information from each different quarterly report so we put everything together in this uh, process pdf file we were going to just provide the uh, file path uh, and that will create a sub agent automatically then what we do is we uh, run this in parallel. So we execute this in parallel. We have four different calls to Haiku, API, Endpoint. And then we combine everything together. But in this case, we actually use these XML uh, tags to separate the financial information from each agent. And this is actually an, an extremely powerful feature that uh, Cloud uses. So within the prompt, you can use these XML tags, which will separate different uh, portions of the prompt. Uh, and in this way, uh, the model will be able to actually pay attention to these different portions. So if you look at the output, we have uh, financial information for Q3. Then we have a separate section with uh, XML tag for Q2. Similarly, we have the same thing for uh, Q4 and there is one for uh, q1 as well and uh, for each one of them uh, we have the product segment sales how it increased from uh, one quarter to the other right so all the information that we need is extracted by each of these individual agents now we need to collect everything and send it back to a bigger model which is going to be again our super agent so in this case the prompt for that is based on the following extracted information from Apple's earning releases, please provide a response to the question. So we pass on the original question from the user. Then we say, uh, also, please generate Python code 
using matplotlib library and we want it to enclose the code within the uh, code tags. So again, this is a perfect example of using these XML tags, which will really help you separate different um, sections of not only the input prompt, but also the response that uh, Claude 3 generates, which is extremely helpful. And we provide our whole uh, response that was collectively generated by these four sub-agents to this super agent, okay? And this super agent is based on uh, Claude 3 Opus, right? So now it will look at the earning reports from different quarters, and it has this uh, super prompt that uh, based on which is supposed to extract information from these earning reports, okay? So then uh, we set up our API endpoint client. We run that uh, through the uh, model, and here is what we see. So there are two sections. The first section is actually uh, talking about uh, what happened. So it's basically the financial information that is extracted uh, based on the financial reports. And the second section is a code that will let you generate uh, a plot, okay? So then what we can do is we can actually use these tags to separate the code uh, that we can use to generate plots from the uh, analysis that Cloud 3 has provided. Okay, so there is a code here. Basically, it will extract code in response. So it will look at these tags and based on the tags, it separates the code segment from the response segment. So here you can see uh, this is the uh, actual response. And now using that code, uh, and we have a pretty nice looking plot. So it shows that the net sales actually starts decreasing from Q1 up to Q3, and there is an upward take in Q4 2023. Uh, this is probably uh, related to the holidays season or maybe even related to the release of new products. So this was a quick example of how you can create your own agents and sub-agents uh, with the help of Cloud3. And you can also uh, use the vision capabilities so in certain cases, if you have more complex PDF files, I think it's definitely something worth exploring. If you are uh, interested in extraction of information from PDF files or other documents, RAG is another approach that uh, will really help you. If you are interested in learning more about RAG, I have an upcoming course. Uh, you can sign up for that. Link is going to be in the description. And if you want to use uh, Cloud for your own business applications, uh, you can reach out to me. I do offer advising and consulting services. Uh, details are in the description of the video. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.